Well, Nick Collier here, and uh, it turns out we want a two-inch piece of bar, and uh, and the well, I ordered two-inch, and it came as a two and an eighth. So we've got to take another hundred thousandths off of this, and um, get it down to two inches, and then we'll be able to take it over to the mill, and and start drilling holes. So uh, hey. Stick with me. We're going to have some fun. So since I've got this whole thing resting on this uh, this one bolt, here, maybe I'll bring you over and show it to you. You can see that the that the chuck is grabbing that single three quarter bolt there. Uh, I'm not going to take some real any real heavy cuts. Maybe I'll take uh, thirty thousandths at a time, and just you know fairly light cuts and. Uh, to get this metal off. So let's back this up a little bit. Well, hi, Nick Collier here, and uh, we have spent, well, I can't tell you how many hours I spent getting this thing set up. This dividing head I bought about, oh, I don't know, three months ago or so, and, uh, and uh, you know, I had never tested it out, never tried it out. Of course, it's used, and I got it for a good price, uh, but I literally had to take the whole thing apart and put it back together again in order to get it to work properly, and then we had to adapt the uh the chuck head to the to the dividing head which was a whole nother project I, I you know we're looking at about a week here to get to this point now we have squared our our two inch piece of bar stock up this way and this way and we've squared it the, the head up and gotten everything trimmed in this is sitting exactly at three quarters of an inch from the edge which is what my customer wants and uh, and we're set up to do 32 holes in a 360 degree circle. Now we're going to crank this thing up and do our 32 holes and then we move over four inches and do 32 more holes and then we'll move over four inches and do 32 more and another four and do 32 more and then uh, a couple little finished things uh, drilling the holes in the end and threading them in you know uh, just the everyday stuff. So, uh, hey, stick with me. Let's uh, do some drilling. First thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, set uh, cut some uh, pilot holes. We'll do that with a center drill. Now, 
Yeah, let's bring this thing up where we want it. And we go around once. Okay, had it all figured out last night. And now I gotta go over again. Okay, this is it. Around once. Okay, good. Alright, so now we're gonna go this direction. Lock ourselves down. And I'm going to put an arrow here telling me which direction I want to go, just so I don't get confused. Okay, so we got that part done. Now we've got to put the drill bit in, and it's a very small drill bit. We're looking at 63,000, so uh, a number... What is that number? Hang on. Number 56. Three eighths of an inch uh, depth. So uh, I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and mark our
Okay, I'm dropping a smaller drill bit in there just so I can get my depth right. Let's get a sharp one. On the money. Alright, so now we'll drop this down. Get it fairly close. Crank our table down until we've gotten to the Okay, we bottomed out. Now just bring it back. Okay, we've got ourselves 32 holes in that perimeter there. And uh, now we need to move over four inches and do it again. So that's gonna be pretty simple since we're all set up. We go to our DRO. And we punch in, or rotate two, four inches. And I believe it's four inches plus or minus ten thousandths. And we can get it tighter than that. So from this end, I think what we need to do is go to the all the way to the other end and measure from there because there's this one place and I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's four inches and then it's four inches and then from here it's seven uh, it's three quarters of an inch and then he left this as an open space because there's going to be some variance there. So we're going to leave that as our variance number and then just go ahead and uh, come back to this side, punch in 75 thousandths, and do a perimeter, and then go four and four. Oops. So, that's, that's pretty well set. So now we're going to just bring everything back to other end of our bar here and that wants to be 75 from the outside edge let's uh, get ourselves a pen Mark 75, or 750, which would be three quarters of an inch. And he's got that at plus or minus. Okay.
Let's put ourselves a pointer in here. And because my eyes are failing daily, not failing, but just, you know, getting less and less able to focus, I'm going to put on my seven powered loop here and come in and find my spot right there. Looks like the key. And then we'll check it one more time, make sure we're set. And uh, I'm going to take my calipers and check it with my micrometer. It's one of those places where you got to set everything down. There we go. Now let's make sure we're pretty much on the money here. Maybe a few thousandths that way. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll crank it up, do 32 more holes there, and uh, I'll uh, keep you with me. First, we're going to, of course, uh, go in and, and hit it with the countersink to center that hole and go all the way around and then come back with the small uh, 063 drill bit, number 56, I believe, and, uh, and put the series of holes in that part. Then we'll come in uh, and go 4 inches and 4 inches and... Uh, We'll be done with that part. All right, so we got this set of holes drilled. So that makes two. Now we got to move from here, four hundred thousand or four inches exactly, and we will do that with the DRO because uh, it's so accurate. All right, let's take the drill bit back out. Counter sink back in.
Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, we are at the tail end of this little project. Well, not the exact tail end, but the tail end of cutting these 32 holes around the perimeter of this bar stock. I think we got about eight more holes to go. This has been sitting for four or five days while I went and did other things. And uh, so now we're back to it. We're going to finish cutting these holes. Uh, we still have to cut a... We have to drill a hole all the way to center here and then come in from behind that. I don't know. Maybe you can't see that. No, you can't. Let's rotate over here. We're going to drill a hole just behind this set of holes here all the way to center and then come in and drill our center hole here and t uh, tap it to a pipe thread and that way he can run a pipe thread on there and then the, somehow this is a water jet or something. I'm not totally sure what he wants to do with it. And then I'm going to take this and uh, I'm just finishing up the tracer attachment. I'm going to take this and make a contour in here to relieve some of the weight and also to play with the tracer attachment a little bit. So we're going to just take out a little bit of weight on each one of these sections here. So for right now we're going to crank this up and drill these last four holes, or last eight or ten holes. All right, we got that one drilled. Okay, so we're going to build a contour for our um, tracer attachment in order to cut um, some radiuses in, um, in this uh, piece here. Now, he wants me to keep this at, and let me just rotate this back around. He wants me to keep this three quarters of an inch away from the, the drilled hole. So, that means our... Oops, we're going to do it on this side. That means that our contour is going to be somewhere right in this area here. That's one of them. Now the other one is this little shorty over here. Let me get a rag. And it's got just a little dinky one in between those two. So I figure we can go ahead and set that up to cut somewhere in there. Now, the way uh, that we want to do it is to trim out this material on both of these contours and then uh, and then we can get the, the tracer to follow the contour, hopefully. Okay, so we've got our holes drilled. We've got our little single uh, vent hole drilled. And now we're going to take everything apart. Very carefully. And 
we've got uh, our bar ready to go.